Prince Harry has told ABC News Michael Strahan that he doesn't think it's ever going to be possible to return to his royal role in the UK. The Duke said that the prospect of a return to royal duties looks unlikely, even if there is an agreement between me and my family. Harry cited a mysterious third party that would make the arrangement unsurvivable. The shocking revelation comes after Prince Harry took part in two interviews on Sunday night to talk about the release of his upcoming memoir, Spare, on January 10. During those interviews, with ITV and CBS, Prince Harry revealed personal details about his life growing up as a royal, and his grievances with family members, the royal institution and British press. One of the most explosive revelations to come out of the interviews related to his late mother, Princess Diana. When he was 20 years old, eight years after her death, Prince Harry requested the police report from his mother's fatal collision. Speaking to Anderson Cooper on 60 Minutes, the Duke revealed that he wanted proof his mum was in the car on that night. Proof that she was in the car. Proof that she was injured. And proof that the very paparazzi that chased her into the tunnel were the ones that were taking photographs, photographs of her lying half dead on the back seat of the car. The Duke also attacked the British press for the role he said it has played in Princess Diana's misery. Harry said he had a lot of anger built up through the years that he never expressed to anybody. Harry also opened about his relationship with his father. Using an audio clip from his new book, Harry explained the moment his father told him of the tragic news of his mother's death when he was just 12 years old. Speaking to ITV's Tom Bradbury, he said Charles came into his Balmoral bedroom, in a dressing gown, and sat on the edge of his bed and told him darling boy, mummy's been in a car crash. The Duke continued, you know, my father coming in, in his dressing gown and sharing that news with me, only now as part of writing the book, that I really think about how many hours he'd been awake. And the compassion that I have for him, as a parent having to sit with that for many, many hours, ringing up friends of his, trying to work out, how the hell do I break this to my two sons? More to follow.